you welcome dear listeners we are going to start a movie by the name the proposal this movie revolves around how the rich and wealthy people the develop friendship and relationship with only those who are rich and wealthy so that they can take the advantage of their wealth also yes so this movie focuses that how people are becoming more and more materialistic and forgetting the real purpose of relationship and friendship the director of this movie is a russian and he has written many plays and short stories even this the purposeful is also is a play this movie has mainly three important characters first chubukov he is the land owner and second we have natalia she is 25 years of age and the daughter of chubukov and third we have ivan lamau he is also land owner as well as the neighbor of chubukov so we will divide this whole movie into three parts the first ivan lamau meeting chubukov and second ivan lamau meeting natalia and third chubukov places ivan lamau's hand on his daughter's hand and accepting the marriage proposal so let us enter in our first part lamau meeting chubukov chubukov was sitting very comfortably in his room his reading newspaper and suddenly enters lamau he is wearing a very nice dress coat pant tie gloves and shoes he is looking very handsome as though he is going for some party or big function and when chubukov sees him both of them they greet each other and chubukov says after a long time we are seeing each other where have you been so long and how you happen to come here is there any special occasion and lamau says yes there is a location i have come here for a request only you can help me and the moment he says this chibukao thinks i think this person has come to ask some money i won't give him anything and lamau says i have come here to ask your daughter's hand in marriage in a way i want to put the marriage proposal and when chibukao hears he feels very much happy he hugs him even kisses him and he feels very much glad and he says you are very good you are very nice person but on the other side lamau says but i am feeling very much hesitated as well as afraid that whether natalia will accept my proposal or not and chabako says don't worry my son she is good and you both of you know each other she will surely will accept let me go and call natalia enter in our second part lamau meeting natalia and they both have an argument natalia is wearing an apron which is already dirty and she is approaching as she is approaching lamau is already busy in thinking that i am 35 years of age now I think this is the correct time to get married. If I go on searching for an ideal wife, the whole lifetime I have to remain single. After all, she is a very good girl. She is good looking. She is good, good household keeper. I think the decision to marry her is very good. Apart from this, do I have a heart palpitation and numb foot? But anyway, I won't tell her this. And when she comes, she says, "Yes, after a long time we are seeing each other, right? Where have you been so long? Do you want to have some lunch and all?" and he says no i don't want to have anything i just want to ask you something natalia you know that we both of us are good friends we know each other for a long time even our family members they know one another yes and even our family members have good reputation and they are in good terms even my oxen meadows is near to your meadowwood and when she hears this natalia says just just wait wait excuse me what did you say my oxen meadows how can you say it's your oxen meadows that belong to our family and lamau says let me explain to you natalia this oxen meadows belong to us my aunt's grandfather has given your father's grandfather this piece of land to cultivate but after all this belong to us because i have the document with me and natalia says no you cannot say this whatever you say i won't believe because i know that you are fooling me this oxen meadows was ours and will be ours whatever you say and both of them they fight that this oxen meadows belong to me she said this belong to me and as they are fighting the father chibakao enters in the argument and he also says lamau you should not say such a thing that this oxen meadows belong to you you just please get out of our house you had come here for the marriage proposal you are not worthy to marry my daughter please go out and when Natalia hears this that Lamau had come here for the marriage proposal she feels very much guilty that her father has sent him just simply out and she turns towards her father she says please papa bring him inside i want to marry him only and uh, Chibakao gets very much angry and he says what the hell you are talking about after just before you were 
fighting like a dogs and cat and i was supporting you and the moment you hear that he had come to marry you you have taken his support how can you do that and lam shiva goes feels very much guilty of being the father of such a young daughter and shiva goes goes outside and brings lamao inside and lamao's heart is already beating too fast and natalia tries to change the topic and they talk on some good things the natalia says that shooting and all we used to do when we were ch- children and in their talking one thing she says that but my dog is better than your dog and once again the argument begins and both of them they fight they quarrel they blame each other and once again the chabaku tries to enter and when lamao sees that the situation is going to be same again i am alone and they are in two party and lamao falls down and become unconscious in spite of this uh, chabaku and natalia they go on blaming him and when they notice that he is not moving they try to put even some water but after a lot of effort he comes into conscious Chabaku sees that lamao has come into conscious and he finds the whole situation very calm and peaceful now we are entering in our third part chabaku places lamao's hand in his daughter's hand and accepting the marriage proposal he takes the hand of lamao and places in the hands of his daughter and as both of them they try to sit down so natalia in a very funny way she says lamao you have to accept one thing that my dog is better than yours and once again both of them they start to begin fight and argue and blame each other and this time the chabakos tells to everyone please bring the champions we will celebrate these two fools have forgotten the purpose that very soon they are going to get married but we should not forget and with this the play end so this play shows how natalia and lamao get upsets and fights in a small things they are more materialistic and not having any concern for the relationship or the question answer from the chapter mainly the dialogue questions will come so once you have to read the whole chapter very peacefully as you have understood the whole chapter so thank you for listening to me please do support us by subscribing this channel thank you Thank you.